Hello everyone, I'm just going to try and do a refractory experiment to build some uh, either refractory lining like a castable type material for a forge or a uh, fire brick. So I was trying this when I first started getting into this to make my own and I ended up giving up because I kept uh, having failed material trying silic uh, setting silicate with perlite and and sand, but um, I want to try it again and see if I can refine this a bit better. So we've got, um, I'm going to do a variety of things. I've got a bowl with some sodium silica here. This is sodium silica and lime putty. I've got some flour to act as an organic binder and some fine sand. So I'm going to see what I come up with. So I'm going to first try to sand sodium silica and the binder. Try and stop cracks for me as it dries. This one's going to be lime putty, sand, and sodium silica. With some binder in as well. Easier with bigger containers, I think. This is all I've got to hand at the moment. to act as a mold. Right. Let's try this again. Luckily, I've got a few spare molds. I'm going to be able to get it out again after. Okay, so we'll try the second mixture. Once these have air dried to get rid of excess moisture, then I'll fire them in the forge and we'll see what we get. This one's sloppy because the lime putty is full of water.
It's going to be very sticky. So, right. Move it into the molds there. This actually feels like it's setting rapidly, actually. Like a concrete. And I forgot to WD-40 then, but that's okay now. This stuff's actually getting hard as a handler. I reckon this into a ball. Or a vaguely good shaped object and see if it hardens in the next few minutes. This stuff is it's most hard already. This is still quite liquid, this one. Anyway, that's the end of stage one. Once it's set, uh, I've lost a lot of moisture, then I'll put them in the forge to fire them. Okay, it's been a couple of hours, and these have really hardened up. They're, they feel very solid, this is a solid surface. Whereas this one, it didn't have any lime in it, it's still quite wet and damp. I'm going to fire up the forge and uh, See what comes out with a small one firstly. The other ones I'll leave to dry for. I'm going to leave it in the heat just for a few minutes while the board heats up. Dry about any last moisture. It's starting to go a lighter colour as it dries out. I expect when I put it under the heat it's going to go black at first as the uh, flower burns out and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's give it some heat.
Okay, so here's uh, the larger ball. Got the larger here. Smaller one. And that's heated lime putty. It's a pure, pure lime basically. It cracks, that's the uh, problem with it, but it's a really good refractory apparently. Once these cool down, I'll check how stable they are, but they kind of look like they've turned into glass, so this may not be the solution I'm looking for. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the uh, small square. It does look very glassy, so the sand. I might need to get a, a different type of sand, but uh, it's extremely hard. And it, um, I mean, it seems to have held up to the, to the heat. But I might have to scale it up a little bit and see how that goes. But it's a lot more successful than the previous attempts of uh, made, making a reflect, refractory material. This is an ongoing experiment, so I'm going to keep on trying and I'll keep putting up new videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, I should be able to put up some uh, the other uh, other blocks are made in the in the molds once they've had a bit of time to dry over a few days. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, the failed brick. I think it might have held together if I'd taken it out carefully and let it cool and then reheated. I kind of squeezed it as I picked it up and uh, that's when it crumbled to bits. But it's promising, I think. It's, uh, I think it's partly the silica sand. It seems to be fusing almost into, into glass. I'd like to try this with some aluminium oxide, which is a higher melting point. It's a, I've seen it advertised as a sand blasting grit, so it's commercially available. I just have to get my hands on some and then I'll keep on the experiments. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and like, subscribe and share the videos. Goodbye.